Greetings Herb Mentor, this is Rosalie and I'm at Ancestry Herbals along with some really friendly bees and Chris who's going to talk to us about this beautiful, beautiful flower, Bee Balm. Hello Herb Mentor, so this is Bee Balm. Monarda fistulosa is this particular species and as you see it's called Bee Balm, bees love it. Um, so it is a perennial that enjoys full sun. Uh, it's pretty tolerant of partial shade. Uh, the one thing that it becomes susceptible to is powdery mildew. Um, if it's in too dense of an environment and then it gets really dry during the day and really cold at night. So it's kind of a short time of the year where uh, that can happen. Otherwise, if you keep it pretty well watered and in full sun, it does really well. So it, it dies down to the ground every year and uh, first thing we do is cut, cut the old stalks and then it grows big and beautiful and it will just divide uh, from, the, from the crown um, every year and just become a bigger, bigger, it's a clumping perennial so it doesn't really send out, uh, it's not a spreading one, it doesn't send out runners or anything. And it will, it will self-sow itself in your garden, uh, not prolifically, I've not really seen it be that aggressive, um, only been happy with its increasing nature. Uh, you can also divide the, um, the clump of root to propagate it. Uh, digging it up in the early spring before it's uh, before it's stirring, and it's kind of a late late one to come up. So uh, you don't have to jump on it right as soon as you can, but it's good. And so we harvest at this point, which is this is pretty much full bloom, where there are some really young flowers. So they open up from the center, this is a whole cluster of little flowers here, and then they open progressively towards the outside of the flower. So these ones are, are a little bit further along, so this, the, the outer ring of the flowers are, are opening and um, enjoying the company of the bees. So somewhere around there, is, if we were to, to harvest it all at once, that's when we would, we would harvest it. Um, but otherwise you can just harvest um, kind of when half of the the flowers are open, that's generally a good time. So you'll have uh, lots of lots of oils, and this this just smells wonderful right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has this real oregano uh, smell to it. It's in the same family as oregano, and uh, you can use the leaves as condiment. So we pick. The flowers for some people and this is a really fun thing to do first of all you have to be careful of bees um, <laughs> get really friendly with your local bees um, some of the bees actually these bumblebees will sleep under the bee bomb flowers oh so if you're harvesting late in the day mm -hmm. you got to be really careful because you'll wake a bee and they don't like surprises so otherwise, it's really fun, and it's just this silky smooth, and you can uh, just pull it like that. I just pick it with my finger, two front fingers, and do a little twist, and you'll get a little flower. Other people do like to have some stem and leaf involved in their product, so we will cut two to eight inches. Uh, it's probably the longest that we've gotten requests for. And, um, yeah, it's a really beautiful flower. Let's see what else I can tell you about bee balm. So this is uh, late summer right now, and it will, it generally blooms a long time. There are different species of Monardas. Uh, some of the other ones bloom earlier like the punctata, 
um, and they bloom in earlier July and here we are in just about mid-August and the fistulosa has been blooming now for about two weeks and so it's got a nice long bloom to it and profuse flowers there it's probably two or three pounds of flowers that I can see right here and that's plenty for for a nice batch of uh, medicine Great, Chris. Well, thanks for showing us the bee balm. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks to the bees, too. <laughs> yeah, thanks, bees.